here. Bud, we found her in the house, upstairs. Where is she? Upstairs somewhere. Forgive us, Kathy. You're our baby. You will always be our baby. Smokes the best. Did you have any trouble smuggling them out of your dad's den? No. Mom just saw he's going to take my regular Thursday music lesson. We're okay if she doesn't remember today's Friday. <laughs> well, let's light up. Okay, boy. I can hardly wait. So jumpy. All I want to do is turn you into. Turn us into who? Anything you want to. Rabbits, cats, birds. I can do it too, because I'm magic now. What are you hiding behind your bags? Nothing. Get out of here, Kathy. What's this for? None of your business. Scram. I want to see you blow it. I want to see you blow right now, and I'll beat it. Don't push, or I'll call mommy. You make me sick. I Make you sick. Go on, beat it. I dropped dead. Scram, kid. You too dropped dead. Kids, they drive a man crazy. Yeah. Well, smoke up, boy. Yeah. Well, go ahead. You can be first. They're your cigars. Sure. Well, uh, you can be first if you want to. This is your house. You bet. <laughs> uh, Bud, have you smoked before? <laughs> How about you? Oh, <laughs> gets to be sort of a habit, I guess. <laughs> well, here goes. <laughs> you know, old Eddie Miller didn't even know which end of the cigar to put in his mouth. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> which end do you? <laughs> This end here, or this one? I forget which. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Well, here goes. Now, don't you worry, Fluffy. This magic stuff won't hurt a bit. It's just a little damp, so the magic powder will stick on better. I'm going to change you into a little rabbit. Steady now, Fluffy. Voodoo, hoodoo, zabba, zell. Magic powder, work thy spell. Heed my words and heed them well. Fluffy, you are now a rabbit. <laughs> okay, then, turn into anything you want. A dog, a cow, a bird, a big silly bird with flapping wings. I don't care. Oh, hi, Daddy. Well, hello there, Sultan. That's a fine new hat you have. Boy, Daddy, I sure got chipped today. Again? I traded Patty Davis my old roller skates for this magic set, but nothing. I see. Well, sometimes the magic power has gone out of those secondhand sets. Then on the other hand, maybe you haven't given it enough time. Why don't you try, say, uh, another half hour? Well, I know it won't work, but I'll try. <laughs> Fluffy, Janet! Daddy, I just changed Fluffy into a bird! Well, 
kitten. It won't be long now. Pretty soon we'll get a glimpse of old Santa's boot coming down the chimney. <laughs> he does. She'll give him a hot foot. Come on, cat. Snap out of it. What are you trying to do? Veto Christmas? Boy, some Christmas with a little grumpy down here and... You know, Mom's still upstairs trying to talk Aunt Neva into coming down and join us. Why'd she make the trip here? Shh. Well, this looks very festive and Christmassy. Doesn't the tree look pretty? Yes, lovely. Come in and join our merry band, and we'll make the welkin ring. <laughs> Anybody here ever rung a welkin before? <laughs> Neva, my favorite sister, may I serve you from the traditional Anderson wassail bowl? Oh, I ran across a recipe the other day that tells how they used to make a wassail bowl. Sounded horrible. They used to put sugar and nutmeg and a lot of stuff into ale and wine. Then they heated the whole mess. Had cooked apples floating in it. I can just see Countess so-and-so daintily lifting her cup and getting slapped in the puss with a soggy apple. <laughs> well, uh, here's to a very merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, let's not let our enthusiasm get out of control. <laughs> Maybe we need a good rousing song. Or, uh, no, let's, uh, sneak a look at our presents. How about opening a few? What do you say, kitten? I hope you get something I can play with. <laughs> oh, here's one, uh, for Kathy. Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's from Kathy, and it's for... Aunt Neva. Well, deliver your present to Aunt Neva, Kathy. Kathy? Christmas, Aunt Neva. And I don't hate you anymore. I love you. Why, Kathy. 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 Jeepers! A real regulation miracle. And it's true. Do you know what the greatest gift is, Aunt Neva? You bet I do. I've just received it. Oh, Merry Christmas, Kathy. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, Aunt Neva. Merry Christmas. Kathy? Kathy? Is anything wrong? What are you doing out of bed? Well, I... What do you want, Angel? Well, I was just wondering, do ponies have blue eyes or brown eyes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll talk about it in the morning. Go on back to bed. do they have? <laughs> Blue eyes or brown eyes? Whoever told Kathy she could make a wish on that confounded horseshoe ought to be... Who um... would have thought that... No, it was you. <laughs> You're the culprit. Well, I thought she was going to make a spectacular thing out of it. Yesterday afternoon, she came in with that old horseshoe and asked me what she could do with it. I was reading. I, I, I didn't even think. I just said, make a wish. That's all <laughs> I said. That was enough. Yeah. Well, when she comes down here, you can explain why the pony isn't here. Oh, Father, Kathy isn't an infant. She doesn't really believe in that wishing thing. Maybe not, but she's trying awfully hard. <laughs> Jim, 
Jim. She shouldn't be outside in a nightgown. No. I can't understand what happened. Cookie's not here. Cookie? My pony. I made the wish like you told me. I wonder what's wrong. Well, you see, kitten, uh... Uh, making wishes on horseshoes and uh, four-leaf clovers and all those things is fun. But it's kind of a pretend game, hmm? You know, more for little kids. I'm little? No, that's not what's wrong, Daddy. I'll bet it's too early yet. Oh, but that's why he's not here. Oh, sure. That's it. It's early. He'll be here easy by lunchtime. Do you like the name Cookie? Oh, yeah, that really sends me. Well, I'm going to get dressed. I'll be down in a minute. There, goofy little kid. Keeps selling herself that she's going to get her wish. I don't get it. Well, fairy tale lady, any suggestions? I'm never going to open my mouth in this house again. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I'm not going over to Marge just to pick up some crepe paper and candy. I have to make table favors for the class luncheon. I'll be back in a little while. I have 90 favors to make before tomorrow. <laughs> Could you help me, Mother? Oh, thanks a million. <laughs> the girls in this family, nothing but crackpots and racketeers. <laughs> Need a hand? No, and keep yours on the <laughs> Say, uh, where's Kathy? How come she isn't getting in on this? Oh, she's sitting on the front steps waiting for her pony. Boy, is she gone. She's way out there. <laughs> Say, where'd she expect this pony to come from? Out of the sky? Anymore. I'm going to keep him. He's my very own bird. Well, Kitten, if we keep Mr. Quigley, we'll have to put him in a cage. I know. Well, I suppose we could put the cage by the window where he could look through the bars. Maybe he could see the other birds free and hopping around. But I wonder if he'd be happy. Gee, I wonder. Kathy, remember yesterday when it rained all day and you wanted to go outside and play, but you couldn't leave the house? Remember how unhappy you were? Well, imagine Mr. Quigley being locked up like that all the rest of his life, just like in prison. Daddy? Yes, kitten? Open the window. Quickly, come back and visit. 